Hello and welcome. This is Megan Murphy with Strategic Solutions of Virginia. We are a managed services provider that has been acutely focused on providing IT services to ambulatory healthcare practices since 2001. Today, we want to take some time to review the possibility of leveraging Microsoft Teams to provide telehealth services during the COVID-19 public health emergency. In response to the COVID-19 public health emergency, the federal government has taken action to expand the abilities and ease the restrictions on providing telehealth services by issuing the CARES Act or Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act. These provisions listed below are designed to allow providers to safely connect with and care for patients who often comprise our most vulnerable population. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS for short, pitched in by expanding the services that can be provided to Medicare patients via telehealth tools and other technological communications methods. This expansion of services is designed to keep patients at home while still receiving the care they need and allowing for the providers to be reimbursed for their efforts. Last but not least, the Office of Civil Rights, who is responsible for enforcing HIPAA penalties, has announced that it will not impose penalties on healthcare providers for not adhering to HIPAA security regulations when providing telehealth services to patients. This can easily be skewed, so it's important to note a few things. This regulation only applies to covered entities who are healthcare providers. So that means other people who are required to be HIPAA compliant, such as business associates, insurance companies, and the like, will not be given this same consideration. The healthcare provider must be acting in good faith, meaning they're not taking advantage of, of the situation and are still attempting to maintain security and privacy in regards to their patient information. And lastly, the healthcare provider must use a non-public product to communicate with their patient, meaning tools that can't be broadcast or don't require an invitation to join are strictly forbidden, such as Facebook Live, TikTok, Twitch, and other applications. While this announcement from the OCR does ease some worries, it does not eradicate all risk to your business for HIPAA non-compliance. While the OCR may not impose a penalty on your business for a security event which takes place during a telehealth visit during the COVID-19 pandemic, your patients still have the right to take action for presumed lack of security or care for their information. Because of this, we still recommend utilizing a HIPAA-compliant platform to conduct any and all telehealth visits, both during the pandemic and moving forward into the future. This is where Teams comes into play. Teams is an application developed by Microsoft and included in most Office 365 subscriptions. While it was designed as a communications tool for inter-office communications, Microsoft has put in the work to make this a viable solution for telehealth. The most useful feature of Teams is that for companies who have already implemented Office 365, it seamlessly integrates with workflows and products that have already been deployed, including your calendar and your organization's security settings. Teams can be used on any internet connected device, whether it's a desktop, laptop, tablet, or cell phone, and is compatible with all Microsoft, Apple, and Android products. The application itself includes chatting, calling, video meetings, and file sharing features, allowing users to communicate in real time across devices, across offices, across town, and more. Today, we'll be reviewing the process for leveraging Teams to schedule and provide telehealth services to your patients. Bookings is an add-on app from Microsoft for anyone with enterprise-level Office 365 subscriptions. This is a handy tool that can be leveraged to create a website that allows your schedulers to schedule appointments with patients and their preferred or different available provider, capturing patient information and enabling automatic text and email reminders. Now let's see it all in action. Please note the next section of this video is a recording of a live broadcast, so the video appears a little jumpy. 
This is not to be expected from your experience when using Microsoft Teams. It is simply a byproduct of the recording. Now, let's really see it in action. This is my bookings page. I have pre-configured it to include a variety of services offered. All services are easily configurable and can be customized at any time. Each service is tied to a specific amount of time and a dollar value. This enables us to run a report and evaluate the metrics of appointments conducted via telehealth. In order to start scheduling a patient's appointment, a scheduler would simply need to select the service type, select a provider from the staff drop-down list, select the date, and then select an available time. As you scroll down, you're going to capture the patient information. All physician availability hours are configurable and even can be connected to the physician's Outlook calendar to automatically block out any time that they have a previously scheduled event. For instance, I have my calendar to only be available for telehealth meetings between 2.20 and 3.30. As we scroll down, we start to capture patient information. such as their name, their email address, and their, phone, their cell phone number if they wish to receive text reminders. All text and email reminders and confirmations are customizable, so you can add any message that you wish to include in these reminders. You can also set them at your desired cadence, such as, um, an email confirmation one day before the appointment, one hour before the appointment, and then maybe a text 15 minutes before, just to ensure that your patients are aware and prepared for their time with the physician. Once all patient information has been collected, we go ahead and press book. This will automatically create an appointment on the physician's calendar, block off that time from other patients and schedulers, send an appointment confirmation email, text and calendar inv invitation to the patient. Once again, this is all completely customizable. You do not have to send all of these confirmations to the patient, but it does make things easier. Here we can look in the patient inbox and see that they receive a calendar invitation so that they can go ahead and add it to their calendar, customize their reminders, and you also received a confirmation email, which includes the information about maybe how much it will cost, where it is, and a link to join the actual meeting when it becomes time for their appointment. When it comes time for the patient's visit, they will receive email and or text reminders in the cadence that you set them up. As we can see right now, I'm looking at a patient reminder or a patient confirmation, which is essentially the same as what I've set up the patient reminders to look like. Right here, they have a simple button that says join team meeting. All the patient has to do is click the button to join the meeting. If they're joining from a cell phone, they will need to download the Teams app, which is free. But if they're joining from a desktop, a laptop, or a tablet, they should be able to just join within their browser. For the physician, they should receive a pop-up from their Outlook calendar saying that it is time for the visit with a simple button to join online. One click and we have entered our meeting. I'm going to enable my camera, my microphone is enabled, and I'm going to go ahead and join our meeting. And here is my patient. Wave, Anthony. Perfect. So with just one click, we were able to connect myself with the patient. So one thing that we can go through now is a couple of the great features that Teams allows us to utilize. One is this chat. I can send 
specific notes in here. Maybe they are hard of hearing or you want to send them an email address or a web domain, we can go ahead and copy and paste that in here. Another one is adding a third, um, third party. So if you are the provider and you want to have a scribe join this conversation so that they can do your notes and scribe in real time and see your EHR, we can go ahead and invite them to the meeting. This will pop up with anyone within your organization, so that keeps the meeting within your internal resources, but it also allows the patient, maybe uh, the patient wants to bring in their son or their daughter to help listen to the conversations that you're having, they also have the ability to add a patient or add a third party into the meeting. And then last but not least, we can upload documents. So if you wanna share files, we're simply going to go to share then click this browse and we can go ahead and upload from our computer. This is a nice and simple way to get face-to-face -face interaction with your patients in a HIPAA compliant manner, Teams is end-to-end -end encrypted. It's private and it requires invitation to join. Once we're done with our appointment, we simply wave goodbye to our patient and hang up. So as you can see, Teams is a nice and easy way to connect with our patients during the COVID-19 pandemic, but also easy to use going forward. Microsoft Teams was not designed or created specifically for telehealth, so there are a lot of other features that other telehealth tools will allow, such as pulling data from wearable medical devices, integrating with your EHR, collecting payment, and many more great features that are simply not available with Teams. But Teams does allow you to have a secure face-to-face -face appointment with your patient. If you're willing to put forth the work to scribe or enter your notes into your EHR within a separate window, you are effectively seeing your patient, providing them the care that they are looking for, and maintaining your relationships with your patient base while everyone is in such an uncertain time. We do encourage you to take a look at leveraging Microsoft Teams to implement telehealth services within your organization to determine if it is the right fit for your patients, your staff, and your business. Please reach out to us at Strategic Solutions for implementation assistance. We can work with you to develop a rapid deployment model, getting licensing and web pages set up, staff trained, and word out to your patients in as little as one day. We can also set up your tenant to be more secure as there are certain aspects of this setup that are key to protecting your communications and maintaining HIPAA compliancy. And lastly, we can work with you to make this service as intuitive as possible, easily integrating with your established workflows. As always, please feel free to reach out to us with any questions. You can visit ssva.com slash coronavirus for the latest news and resources released in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, or simply send us an email at support at ssva.com or give us a call at 804-225-1897. We are open and operating 24 seven to provide assistance whenever and wherever it is needed. Thank you for your time, stay safe, and we look forward to talking to you.